Welcome back to Wave of Dawker. In today's video, we will be tackling the Orioles vs. Red Sox series in Fenway Park, taking place from September 8th to September 10th. Uh, this is the Orioles' second to last series against Boston all year. Uh, last time we played them was like back in like April or May, I think. Like it's been a while. Like we played them a few times early in the season, but it's been a while. And we're, you know, we have uh, our last series against them is a four game set at the end of um, September. The Orioles will be trotting out Kyle Bradish, Jack Flaherty, and Grayson Rodriguez. We've reverted back to the five-man rotation, uh, just based on the fact that Cole Irvin uh, appeared in the ninth to close out the um, series finale against Los Angeles. The Orioles have won all five of Kyle Bradish's last five starts, and he's only allowed six earned runs in his last 28 innings pitched. He's just been phenomenal, and as of today, he is in MLB.com's top 10, power, uh, top 10 starting pitchers. At number nine, he's just been phenomenal, top five in the American League in ERA, but he has struggled immensely against the, the Red Sox in his um, young career. Last faced him in, in late April, but he's a different pitcher than he was in late April, so we're going to see that, and hopefully, you know, he can uh, carve out another phenomenal outing like he's had over the last few months. We're still looking for that bounce back start from Jack Flaherty. Uh, I think in my last few videos, uh, with Jack Flaherty starting, I've, you know, I seem like I'm always saying this. He looked all right in Arizona. He got in a little bit of a pickle, a lot of three earned runs, and was taken out in the fifth. But, you know, I think he's a fighter. I think he he's a confident pitcher. I, I see, I feel like he has it in him. He has, allowed eight, he has allowed 18 earned runs in his last 20 innings pitched. But this is his first start against uh, Boston in his career. So, you know, it's a fresh leg. So hopefully, you know, we can get that game two win with him on the bump. Grayson has been phenomenal uh, since his return from his uh, stint in Norfolk. He's just a different pitcher, limiting walks, high strikeouts, going deep into games, limiting runs. So, you know, he's been huge for us. He's looking like our number two or three guy in this rotation. Uh, this is also his first start against um, Boston, so it's another fresh slate. So, you know, hopefully he can introduce himself to a team that he's going to be facing, hopefully for the next 10 to 15 years, in an Orioles uniform. The Red Sox starters are Tanner Houck, Chris Sale, and Brian Bellow. Over Houck's career, he is 3-2 with a 3-2-8 ERA and seven career appearances against the Orioles. And he is 1-3 uh, over his last five, allowing 11 earned runs. Chris Sale is having an all-right year, going 6-3 with a ERA north of uh, 440 over 16 starts this season. He's allowed 11 earned runs over 22 innings over his last five starts, going 1-1. One and one. And he is 10-4 and four against the Orioles in his career with a sub-350 ERA, but over this season he has been just putrid against us, allowing 12 earned runs over two starts. Bellow has been someone of the Red Sox ace, going 11-8 and eight with an ERA north of 360. Once again, solid over his last five, only allowing 11 earned runs across 27 innings. He's only faced the Orioles once in his career, and that was late last year. He allowed three earned runs on five hits, uh, and he was scored a loss. Uh, like I said in, earlier in the video, huge series for the O's. They won five straight, and as of recording this, they are four games up on Tampa for first place in the AL East. Uh, Tampa just lost to the Mariners Thursday night. We really need the Mariners to pull through and win two or get a sweep here. That way we can increase this lead before that huge series against Tampa late next week. And like I said, this is our second series against Boston all year. We have split the season series. Uh, you know, obviously winning is ideal, but you know, getting the, getting the tiebreaker with this Red Sox team is not that pivotal as they are in fourth place and they're a few games out of the wild card spot. To be exact, they are five games back. And like I said, they are for, uh, in fourth place in the AL East, going three and seven in their last 10. So they're on a bit of a skid. So hopefully we can catch them uh, where they're lacking and get a, a much needed series win. Every, I mean, every series is must win at this point in the season, you know, 88 and 51, first place in the AL East. We're getting to, you know, magic numbers are a thing now. So, you know, we, we want to win as many games as possible. And this is a fourth place team. So hopefully we're able to uh, kick them while they're down, and, you know, I, I trust the three guys that we have right now, Flaherty being, you know, lower on that totem pole, but Bradish and Grayson, those are two guys that I trust going out on the mound, so hopefully we can get this uh, series dub. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, I went a little bit more in-depth with, like, you know, career appearances against the teams. I think that'll, that'll help. Let me know if you want me to do, you know, a little bit more in-depth stuff, like, uh, against certain players or against uh, certain batters, but, you know, I think... I want, to, I want to keep these brief, but also, you know, a, a compact information where you're able to, you know, uh, gain some info for the upcoming series. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next preview.